Hey Lightweights and welcome back to some more Life is Strange. Last video was not good. It was not good. I I clearly made some mistakes. I haven't read through your comments yet um, because I want to finish the game before I look at anything that I could have done differently. I know I asked you guys what different choices I could have made, um, but I don't want to regret anything that I've done so far. I don't want to question my decisions. At this point, I'm committed, and I feel like if I read your comments, I'm gonna wanna go back and change things, and I can't do that. So I'm not gonna read your comments till I'm done with the game. Um, but I killed Chloe. <laughs> not me personally, but my choices killed Chloe. Um, major plot twist with it being Mr. Jefferson. I said from the beginning that something was off from him. I knew he gave me icky vibes. I knew I didn't like him, but I did not see that coming. Um, and now I kind of feel bad for blaming Nathan Prescott for everything because it seems like he is not necessarily involved. Like the more I thought about it, the more I realized, I think he's just seen things that he didn't want to see. I don't think he is necessarily involved besides like getting the girls there which I know is involvement but with his dad I think there's like a whole bigger scheme going on here I think it's his dad and Mr. Jefferson I think Nathan is kind of like basically bullied and forced to do this based off of some letters we saw from his dad about how he's going to have to take over and that sort of thing. It didn't read like he was talking about the business. It read like he was talking about the side hustle of abducting and drugging and killing women. Um, so I think Nathan is messed up in the head because of everything he's had to do for that little thing. Um, but I could be totally off base with that. But that's just kind of the epiphany I had when I was trying to sleep the other night. Um, thinking about all of the pieces that we found and trying to put them together. So we'll see. Um, I'll be curious to see what happens. Obviously we know Rachel is dead. Chloe is now dead, but what's gonna happen with Max? Um, are we gonna be able to rewind? Maybe we can do like a super rewind where Chloe doesn't actually die. Um, and then how does all that connect to the storm? We still have no new details about the storm. We have no idea what's going on in the world with all the dead animals and the multiple moons. Um, so, oh, okay, I just had this epiphany. What if, I'm sorry, this is a really long intro. What if Max causes all of the issues with the world because she tries to do super rewind, super rewind to save Chloe? And the timeline that Max is in now is suffering the repercussions. You know, like the Doctor Who wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. Like maybe future Max fucked with the timeline trying to save Chloe and it's causing all of this. I might be thinking too much about it. Okay, anyway, so we have to start playing so that we can see what happens. But this is the final chapter. I'm gonna start off like always by reading the diary, even though I just gave you the recap, sorry. <laughs> um, and then we will get into it and see what's going down. All right, you guys, if you're new here, please make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button when you do so you know when I post the next video. And here we go. Previously on Life is Strange. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! <sighs> Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Ugh! <sighs> Life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. 
Also, I forgot that there is an end credit scene and I stopped recording and I couldn't pause it to hit record again, but I did watch it. I'm sorry that wasn't in the video. Um, I'm sure you've all seen it, but if you haven't, it shows Jefferson with, I think it was Kate bound and he was the one doing the stuff in the basement. I should probably be holding my controller. <laughs> oh. I'm really nervous for this, you guys. Also, holy shit, I'm looking really terrible today. <laughs> hasn't even started. I'm already stressed out. Okay, so no rewind right anybody now. Anybody out there? Please help. Okay, before we do that, I want Oh, I can't read my diary. Okay, cool. Okay, so Baby Light has an absolute knack for waking up from her nap as soon as I sit down to record. Um, so we're gonna try to record with her in the room. She's currently on the floor back there. Um, so baby noises are gonna be prevalent. I apologize. This is definitely gonna be another choppy video. Um, but I will edit it out as much as I can. And we're just gonna roll with it because it's the only option I have. So sorry, hopefully it brings some levity to this deep, dark chapter. Um, and maybe she'll just be happy on the floor, but. We're gonna, we're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> help! Somebody help me! <clears throat> These straps are hurt. God, I don't remember anything that happened. Oh shit, that's me. He took that shot last night. Of course. And right in front of me. If I could move it towards me. Okay, now what are we gonna do? God, I don't remember anything that happened. <coughs> this must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Um. Wow. 
Well, that didn't help me at all. Hmm. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Can I kick it? Oh, focus on the... Oh. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Ew, don't touch me. Don't touch me. That perfect face. Mm. Hold that stare there! Stay still! My shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. She's just shitting her pants back there. Don't move! Don't! Oh, oh, don't touch me. I could throw up. Uh, much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room... Is under 24 7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone, and you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you down. Oh, no. No. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid! Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot.
legitimately feel sick. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. Smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. There we go. This might work. <sighs> Please work. It's like when I'm at the eye doctor trying to get my contact prescription. What's better, one or two? I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now and don't get me started on your late partner i had enough of those faux punk sluts in my seattle days Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. I'm gonna be spiteful to the end, bitch. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated, like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did Don't you pervert tell that. Everything about your plans at Blackwell. Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hmm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. 
Well, I didn't see that coming. I kind of thought that was intentional. Uh... Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool, anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. We are yes, different because Nathan are. pulled a fucking I gun on us. Nathan than you did. No, and he was going to shoot us. You didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. That's it, Max. For That's Chloe the fire we need. And Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Alone with a heart. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. You're so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. What was that? I thought that gave me a conversation starter. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Do I just have to rewind further? This is pure croissant. Okay. Wait! Please! Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Okay, let's see what I got. You, you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. Fuck. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so oh, much Oh, now we can better. go into that picture. That worked out so well. Hell yes. Focus, baby, focus. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word I'm back. A wonderful I'm back where I started this insane week. And nobody is going to hurt Chloe no, ever again. I really do think we fucked up the timeline, 1800s. though. I think that's what the issue is. Your generation is. was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? 
All right, I'm so excited for this part. I'm so excited. Um, I don't remember what the question was. The Daguerrean process. Oh, well, that was easy, Max. I wanted to was call it? him out on his shit right there. Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, oh, defined you. features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo when the everyday time heroes to change to time. The winter to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artwork. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending. It would be really fucking cool. Bastard. If we turned in one of his pictures for the assignment to be to like, David about bitch, Jefferson and the dark room. I know your secret. That would be so fucking cool. That would be so fucking cool. I just want to do that. Okay, sorry. I got a little excited. Is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. Um... Five 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 six three zero eight two four three. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else, and take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. Wait. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. In Jefferson. Did we send it before we deleted it, or did we just delete it? The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? I mean, 100% we are, but... It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. This fancy camera does not give you any extra talent, Victoria, or excuses. You will not hurt Kate Marsh this time. I can't go past these photo boundaries, so I need to fix everything from here. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. <laughs> okay, one thing prevented. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Not always. <laughs> I can just fix my mistakes by rewinding time. <laughs> oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. Victoria, we could have been friends. My phone is dead and I'm bored. Time to bust out my posy. Why did I give up the word for the image? Because I suck. But Mark Jefferson rules. Everybody in here loves him, but he only seems to care about Max C. I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. Envy is a sin, Vic. Get over yourself. What? You didn't like that? Not impressed anymore. <sighs> if only I could tell the whole class about Jefferson and watch him squirm. But I better let David take care of everything. Okay, good. So we did send it before we deleted it. Uh, 
the 90s are over for you, asshole. Oh my god, I was muted. <laughs> I said, are there any pictures I can take here? Oh, yes. Photo. <laughs> now we're up to date. <laughs> okay, um... That camera with the duct tape has to be in the dark room. Those squares could be... Uh, that doesn't look like it would be here. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. We are fucking are okay, feisty right now. Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. <laughs> then I don't I like him, but I'm that was nice. Done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going Fuck, to say we're I didn't fiery enjoy right that. now. Why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. <laughs> uh, well, thanks for the photo and... Maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this week. We'll be jet setting to prison, Maybe bastard. Only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. Damn right. You're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Oh, what's different? I'm so nervous. So those didn't change at all? Before we told her about our powers though, right? So she's got no idea that we saved everything. Except for the world, which I think we just destroyed. Whoa. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time.
Good work, David. Something has to go wrong with the plane, right? Like, it, it, we're not on a plane for no reason. I feel like something's got to happen. Some vortex is going to come up and... Or, I don't know. <sighs> we're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited, too. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time when we were innocent. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Okay, sorry, she's gonna be crying in the background while I read. <laughs> Two Moon Diner? Amid all the environmental chaos in Arcadia Bay, such as the unseasonal snowfall and beached whales, some residents reported seeing two full moons last night around 8 p.m. Witnesses claimed the double moons were clear in the night sky until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. No cell phone or video footage has surfaced yet, which has led local meteorologists to believe that imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco-havoc. Blackwell Security uncovers bunker and scandal. Acting on a series of tips from David Madsen, head of security at Blackwell Academy, police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber, allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug, kidnap, and photograph young women. Although there were no other signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims, thank fucking God, the disturbing revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech darkroom studio was located. So I guess Mr. Prescott is not involved. I kind of thought he was. That one letter made it admit, seem like... I love being called an artist. Made it seem like he was up to something sketchy. It's so weird to be in between realities. But everything is out of focus and in the distance. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. <laughs> I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. How did you sleep? Oh. Hope I wasn't Sorry. snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. Got a little it's trigger happy. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. <laughs> we are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, no. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max... You're not just screwing around with time. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I bet that ne that next picture is in here. <laughs> Bless you.
San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as we don't have to eat any caviar. <laughs> this is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now, He's so you sweet. The photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. <laughs> Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. <laughs> I better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. And hey, if you make a fool of yourself, just rewind. We're already fucking with the timeline anyways. We might as well just keep going at this rate. Wow, sir, Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life. There oh, I fuck. Am. I keep... Along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. For whatever reason in this chapter, her cadence, I keep thinking she's done and she's really just like dramatically waiting until she starts the next line. And I keep fucking moving on with the conversation and she's like, wait, I'm still talking. Okay, that kind of looked like Oops, one of the pictures. Shit, I never read the diary. <laughs> Oops. Oh no, it's three square, three, s two rows of three squares. So that could be up here. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs too. Hold on to it. His work is gonna be worth serious cash. Ew. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh shit. Pretentious art. I don't get art if it's not like obvious. Like I don't I don't get that. Like modern art. I don't I don't get it. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. Hell yeah! I'll send you the details this week if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. Thanks. Oh yeah, definitely that guy. Okay, hold on. We gotta go take his picture. How did these galleries afford to rent here? Can't talk God. to that guy. I love art. Man. I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. Hello, Sorry, man. I don't know your name. But I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. Oh, thanks. I don't even know what our entry is. What do I do to take his picture? Do I have to be further back? Different. Loving the retro vibe. Me too. Makes me want to go buy an instant camera. Then yeah, maybe it's not him? Film costs a fortune. Hey, it's our picture! Oh, cute! It looks so good! Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we 100% cause the storm. Timeline too much. Yeah, we did. We did. Chloe! Hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, uh, jet lag. Your nose. High altitude. Your nose is bleeding. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. 
Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe! Can you hear me? Uh. Hello? Hello? Tell me we saved her just for her to fucking die in the tornado. Oh my god. The tornado was. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed. Fuck. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. <laughs> These look like my dance moves. <laughs> No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. That wasn't that funny, but in my head it was. Fuck. <sighs> Can I take that guy's picture now? Understand art. I guess everybody is a photographer now. Okay, bitch. Way to be snobby. Okay, but can I take his picture? Why? It's got to be him. I hate how hard it is. To I see the picture. Oh, Let me take the picture. I have to be in Arcadia Bay to help Chloe. Not here. We are just making things worse, baby girl. We're making them so much worse. Oh, shit. Oh, my head. We're literally, like, we're killing ourselves. We're gonna die. What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I'm I doing to time? Pretty sure it is. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Uh, Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. This is crazy. Wait. What? So he didn't get arrested now? Everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway. Let's kick him right in the nuts. Your leg is free, that's all you need. As hard as you fucking can. Eat shit and die seems like a little too, like we're trying too hard. Fuck you. And that's when you kick him in Good the nutsack. So answer. hard that they burst and he rides on the ground. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Don't Sorry touch me. That, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Why aren't we bad. attacking him? Gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. Uh. What a waste. 
The martial artist in me is Sorry. screaming so bad I right now. Stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He burned my diary. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something weird going on with you. So Chloe's dead in this timeline anyways. So we went back in time. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Uh. Like I said, something weird. There's that. Kick feet. him in the nut sack. Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. Ew, go get, get your face. These images will be appreciated for what they truly away. The loss of youth. Mm. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture I you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Bless you. Why are you sneezing so Quiet, much today, Max. baby girl? Do I need to vacuum in here? We missed our opportunity, Max. That was so Please. dumb. Don't do this. You better get that leg ready. You are not letting him da jab that into our neck. I promise. I promise. What can I rewind for? <laughs> what was the point of that? I know, baby I girl. I know. This final dose won't hurt. Eh! 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 What? Marine, for real, and he gets the shit kicked out of him by a dopey photographer. I promise you, no more. The first hit, I'll give Wait, him because can I, he didn't know. Can I but like seriously, for one last. you're supposed to be some badass Marine, oh, and you don't know what to do against a freaking facts. photo stand. How can I deny that face? If we say one last picture, that's gonna stroke his ego so good. Uh, take and he is going to eat it up. I I wanna be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. Yes, David! Sneak in and clobber him. <laughs> we missed the picture. God damn it. <laughs> David to the rescue. Come on, David. Hurry the fuck up. I promise this final dose won't hurt. Why didn't that work? Did it not take long enough? Where's David? And I promise you. Could you please at least play some music so I can drift away? Okay, maybe with the music the on, end, he won't hear the door tracks. open. It's a nice trait. Picture me dancing like those, those um, metal railroad statues. Hold it! What? Yes! Fuck yes! No way, Jefferson. 
Hold it! What? Hold it! What? I don't... No way, Jefferson. I don't get it. I don't get it! No problem. Uh, excuse me, but... Uh, this is gonna fucking work. It has to be the music thing. I don't know what I did wrong there, though. Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. This game is so hard sometimes, you guys. It is. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. Shh. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? David, you are disappointing me. No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. No! <gasps> David Madsen. Of course. Well, this is what you get for playing cop. Okay, that didn't work. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop Grab me. your gun now. Got it. Oh, Christ! David, Matt! The fuck? Jefferson, it's Grab over! Grab your gun now! Got it! What? Oh. David! Jefferson, it's over! Grab that bottle! Why are we just standing there like a freaking moron, David? Over. You are not going to stop me! David! Kick that table! Yes, sir. <laughs> David Madsen. <laughs> I always hate it. God damn it, David. Where's the Marine in you? I'm so disappointed. It's over. I you don't. You're not going to stop me. <laughs> okay. David can't do it on his own, so Mighty Max to the rescue. Oh, Lord, Max. Uh. Are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. I am glad I got to see all those different you. outcomes, though, no, even though they didn't work. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. Pow, pow! Right between the eyes! Oh, David! He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except I mean, I guess that's better. Forever. Can we just, can we tell David to shoot or him, then worse. we can rewind just so we can get a, like a little Mr. Jefferson. anger management out? Now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Oh, hell yeah. Take Save that photo, Max. Ollie. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. No signal. You don't need a signal to open. You don't need a Thanks, signal to Mr. open your Jefferson, pictures. But you won't need this anymore. Honestly. Honestly, I say. No. What the hell is this place? I better go outside and call Warren. Oh, please answer. Oh. We don't have the pictures on our phone. Okay, I get it. I get it. Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was going to kill me. You got here just in time. I'm glad. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. Until too late. 
David? You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. I wasn't surprised you made a shit stepdad. Drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. And Chloe like shit. I know shit. she's a good person, but I'm not. You are a good person. I hope I get to tell her that soon. You just. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and I almost used it, but he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret, but I have to admit I'm impressed by you and Chloe and your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while well, you had each other. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be nice. Maybe she I'm gonna be nice. You. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. I'm sure you know I. Uh, I hit her the other day. I know you're sorry. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but. You I'm clearly were not a good Marine, I David. Tried to be a good father I'm sorry. Too, but you clearly. When Joyce kicked me out. I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I That's true. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. We kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but it's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she? She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. You I guys, the growth! Maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. The growth! I love so it! Where is David. Uh, Chloe is. is dead. This isn't happening. I don't know if that was the right decision, but I. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you Yes, I I saw her. I I saw a Jefferson Killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry oh, for myself in my hotel room. Now he's gonna blame himself. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I, I... God damn it. Let it out, David. Let it out. You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker. Can, can you, you kick him a couple times? my stepdaughter? Just kick him. Kick him. David, wait! I'd be lying if I said I didn't want that to happen. <laughs> okay, we have to rewind. We can't let that happen. I just, I. <laughs> Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. 
Okay. What a mess. What have I done? What have I done? All that Sweet time Jesus. I wasted what have I with done? Surveillance. Cue les miserables. Chloe. I'm sorry. Joyce. I failed you. He's not about My to fucking kill himself, is he? You didn't fail. You did your best. Max. You better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me. Okay, rewind. As much as I wanted him shot, we can't leave him shot. I'm glad it happened that I was able to see it. Cause I'm a vindictive bitch. But we can't leave it that way. Yes, I am, baby girl. You're gonna be a better human than I am. Yes, you are. Good God. It's a studio. Okay, do I even have to talk to him? Maybe I just don't talk to him. Maybe I just leave it. Fuck, I don't know what the right option is. Okay, we're gonna talk to him again and we're just gonna lie. I had no idea he was the- Okay, skip. I'm so glad they let you do that. I'm glad, I always- I never did, we're gonna keep that because I like that decision. He wasn't- I wasn't- And me- Keep that decision as well. I knew. Jefferson. That. No. We all make. Keep this decision. I liked everything except for the last one where I, I told him the truth. I know. Um, I tried. I'm so. I should not. I'm go. I tried. And you s I just want- Okay, hide the truth! David, um... Well, she was pretty stressed out, so... Um, she went to go... Uh, medicate before I ended up in here. So, she's okay. Oh, thank God. Once I'm happy, Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air. Use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. You guys, the character growth of his character. You've seen enough of this room. I love it. I love it. Hopefully now, okay. after we fix everything. Yeah. Let's see what kind of... After I fix everything, he is going to step up in the parenting department and be a little bit more calm, cool, and collected and a little bit more understanding of the trauma Chloe has gone through in her life. Holy oh shit. This storm is real. I need to find her. Yes. Warren. Can you hear me? Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on.
Holy shit, did the tornado already come through? I trust them, having no, it's just super windy already. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, goddammit, how do I pay all those taxes? You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate, or Rachel, or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Sorry. I'm sorry, Nathan. Fuck. not good you guys this is not good Right, guys unfortunately I have to stop there as much as I don't want to um, I am very very excited to continue with the next episode I realized I never read the diary entries I was just too engrossed I couldn't I couldn't stop for them so I will try to remember to read them next time um, but that was really intense I feel like we just keep making things worse every time we rewind we're making the storm worst we, we're making the storm worst yes English we are making the storm worse every time we rewind. Um, so hopefully this is the last time, but I, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't think I'm gonna be able to save the town at this point. I don't think I'm gonna be able to save Chloe at this point. I'm pretty sure my decision still screwed me, but it was still really cool going back in time all of those times to see the different potential outcomes regardless of what my ending is. Um, I am glad that we saw Mr. Jefferson get shot. I know I made the right decision by rewinding and not having him be shot in the end, but I'm glad I at least saw it once because he deserved it. He deserved it. Um, I really love David's character growth. Um, as I had been saying all along, I didn't think that he was the one behind everything. Um, but I stand by the decisions that I made before because he really needed just, you know, a kick in the pants in terms of his behavior in parenting. Um, he was trying to show his affection in his own way. I know he's been through a lot. He's clearly suffering from PTSD and I get all that, but he needed the awakening. Um, and I think getting kicked out of his home was the awakening that he needs. And if we can save Chloe, I think it's gonna be a much, much, much better home life for everybody involved. Um, and sometimes you just need that to happen to you to see what you have and in, in the proper behavior to have. And I know that Chloe's not easy to be a parent of. I can clearly see that. Um, I know that she's not innocent in all of this, but I feel like he's made a lot of growth internally and he's going to reflect more on his parenting style and hopefully things will be better there. So I'm really excited to see what happens. Um, although I don't have much hope for a happy ending. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so you know when I post the next video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and hope you have an amazing day.